say you now. All right, welcome back. Now, I tell you, so we'll get a cadet person in the house. In that person, will they come as I speak for goodness for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, to speak for change, especially in our government dealings. In that person, where everybody know, um, say, if you talk about activism, in they actually carry the forefront. Join me, welcome. And also, the last time we in come, Intel or say, name now. One of entitled now do do about one. In your life, no get them, no get them. You know, call and well. Oh, do do barry ba. Oh, do do barry one. Yes, you don't see that. Barry ba, barry ba. Barry ba. Eh. Oh, do do barry ba. You will need to actually train me on this. Yeah, train your tongue. But you don't see how we get a chance to put our popular known as Chalibor in the house. Good to have you, sir. Good to be here. And we also get a very beautiful Otepu Wede with him. Um, she and I press the way be the diaspora coordinator. I'm um, me welcome Doris Udense. Good to have you. Thank you. Now, first of all, and I just won because I just reread more yesterday and because I follow you on Twitter and I see a particular tweet where you actually tweet and I just won't read them out. Now, you talk, say, for 40 years, you don't be, you say, for 40 years plus, I have been tearing my heart out for the underdogs, the poor, the less privileged, and the Nigerian youths, nudging them to stick to their dreams and to never let anyone kill it for them. I did very glad say this consistency and tenacity has encouraged millions of youths. Now let's talk about Mumu Don to end. You feel, say, the message where they actually try to pass across, it actually go into the head of our government and also, more importantly, into the head of Nigerians? The message when they pass along, for the past 40 something years, mm -hmm. of course. Of course, because some young people, when they look up to me, they say, ah, this man, you know, won't die, you know, won't grieve. He has been consistent, he's been tenacious. So some of them tell themselves, say, me, I no go die, I no go grey. That dream where they pursue, I must see until the end. I know say I don't encourage millions of Nigerians to follow their dream, to work hard and focus on their dream. I don't encourage a lot of parents to not to they say, if my picking no be like this or like that, I no go grey. To be friend with them picking. Because I remember when I start, my parents no green my way. You know? I had to I had to do what I had to do. And let me first disown them. As I disown them, I can't enter poverty. You know? So it can't make me understand, say, no be who your papa be or who your uh, where you come from. Now you, the person, you get, you get liver. Can you look at a dream, follow it, and see it to the final conclusion? You know, so um, I like young people. I like the underdogs. Because me, at one point, I was an underdog, at least to my parents. And say, this talk, one will go, go You know what, I, I want to talk about the Nigerian dream. Now, mm -hmm. as a youth, what I want now, I want to see quality education. I want to see our healthcare um, sector working for my benefit. I want to see government bringing out policies where it will actually work well for me. I remember last year when we get you inside the house, you talk about how 2019 election, you see and say the Nigerian youth, that they very woke. That one means that they're very involved in politics. But we see how the election actually um, um, turned out. Now, with the turnout of the election, you feel, say, we really want change for Nigeria? Uh, we know our voice never allowed reach for that change to happen. And now people, they force themselves on us. The people where they know be we vote them. I they sure that one. Nobody we vote them. They force themselves on us. When would they talk, your mumu supposed to do, your mumu supposed to do. Now make you vote your conscience. Mm. Now, we don't finish vote now. I know sure say the people wait there now we vote for them. But now they don't they. So we get to change our plan. And that changing of plan be say number one. Make we 
Make our mumu do for real. Make we understand, say, now we be government. Make we know, say, if you know, ask how far from those people waiting, say, now you're God. But they are actually servants. They are your servants. So it'd be like, say, you, you self, maybe you, want, you get business. You don't employ accountant. You don't employ manager. You don't employ different people. And you come, you know, they ask them how far. Mm. When I know they get meeting, how you want them to behave? Your business go, come and go die now. Because you're not interested. The docility is too much. And they talk, say, Nigerians are the most arrogantly ignorant set of people. I know. You know? So, first, it starts with the mindset. Because the mindset we they now for ground. Okay? The mindset, poto, poto. The mindset, poto, poto. The mindset is messed up. Where people go, they think, say, nobody feel they good again. Do you know that being good is antisocial? To do good self, people go to say, why go do that good thing? Mm. Oh, somebody send you, somebody don't give you money, don't collect money from. Ah, ah. To even do what in your soul they ask you to do, that is how bad it is. We have like a crab in the bucket mentality. We get to pull anything, we'll be like, say, we all right. Pull and down, make, you all, make all of us stay the same level. Make we know, say nobody, they rise. We're going to talk about this mindset when we come back after the break. And then discuss the new baby now, uh, where we know, say, you don't get. Uh, I will discuss that with Doris, so we'll come back after this break. All right, welcome back. We still talk about the state of the nation and how to hold our government accountable for some of the promises then we don't make to the Nigerian um, people. And uh, with us in the house, we get Charles Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy, and we also get Doris Udenzi, who will tell us more concerning this new movement and the column, Now We Be Government. Now, we know say we get our Mumu Don't Do, and now we get Now We Be Government. If you tell us more concerning this movement. Yes, um, our Mumu Dondu was an initiative, a campaign we did um, for the election, pre-election and the election, to tell the people of Nigeria that our Mumu is supposed to don't do. Let's start voting competence instead of religion and tribe, because mainly that's what we vote. He's from my side. He's a Muslim and a Christian or whatever not really can they do the job. So we, we try to tell people, tell the Nigerian citizens, say, you have to vote right. OK, we don't finish the vote, Nabi. We got what we got. We have to work with what we have. So now we have to change gear to say, this is what we have. We have to work with what we have, right? Therefore, let us get involved. Let us participate in our own governance by asking questions, by demanding accountability and transparency. So what we're doing with our Mumu Dondu is just, with our um, Nawibi government, Nawibi government. <clears throat> is just to strengthen the office of the citizens. Mm. To, to educate the citizen, the, that person in a village, we know they watch TV. We know they for Instagram or Facebook. But they just the inside village. During the election, they carry 1,000, give them a go vote for anybody or something. Let's take this message to them, say, unless you begin to demand the people we don't enter, we're supposed to be, the, be your servants. <coughs> They're not the boss. You are the boss. We are the boss. They're not. They're supposed to do what we want. They're there to please us. That's why they're called civil servants. So, but the role we have reversed in this country, our servants now are our bosses. And we, the bosses, are now the servants. So because we don't exercise our right, just like Father said, you know, when you have a company and you don't ask questions, to see who is doing what. Are we achieving results? Are we getting our deadlines together? Are we getting our bottom lines straight and stuff? When you don't do that, by the time you look at it, your company is, is gone. It's run to the ground. You know, it's not very concerned because 
um, Charlie Bo actually talks on the way sink deep into my head and talk about our mentality. We have to change it. Now, I remember covering the election in 2019. And even those areas where they talk, say they know they watch TV and everything. If you go there and educate them on how they need to understand, say they be government, they go tell you, say, okay, how do I want to put food for my table? So I just want to know how you want to take out the plan day to accomplish this particular movement. Okay, the plan day, like mindset, like he said, mindset. We can only change mindset by education. And the education we're talking about is not going to the school and getting a degree. That's not the education we're talking about. Education we, talk, we, we need is mind reorientation. For the citizens, like these ones now that we're talking about in the villages and stuff. Yes, they will ask how you go put food on their table. Mm -hmm. But... When somebody can't give you 1,000, 5,000 naira, you go vote. How, how many times or for how long would that last? And then after that one week, okay, say one month, that will last for one month. Then until the next four years, you get another 5,000. Is that really putting food on your table? You're still struggling. You're still trying to find something to eat. You're still trying to put roof over the, um, on your children or whatever. But if you solve this problem now and the government realizes that you're demanding your right, you're demanding your right, that will solve the problem once and for all. Because then you're talking about you want good hospitals, good health care, you want good schools. What we demand for these things is our right, and they begin to act on it. Let me speak with Charlie Boy. Are we not demanding for our rights? Or not a demand the for our will? The we need, eh? just like I don't tell you before, I say everywhere, na poto poto. the mindset, na poto poto. we don't need revolution where, for now, my thinking, my own opinion, where I go, if not to bring people come straight, I go do them. But what are the consequences? Okay, now other people pick in, or my pick in, I go drag come street, make them shoot them. We need a revolution of here, the mind, because our mind don't mess up. Or you make I give you the permutation of Nigeria. Should I go on? Please do. I go talk, finish. Oh. Please do. Mm -hmm. Now, then say we get 200 million. Abi? Over. Mm -hmm. Over 200 million. Now, my per permutation is that 60%, if not 70, of that 200 million, now people like you, young, young yes. people, mm -hmm. youths, yeah? Out of that 200 million, 98.5% of the 200 million are what I describe as arrogantly ignorant Nigerians, meaning say they are mumu na waiting follow come or factory fitted. Yeah, our mumu no get part two. Now, if the 200, 200 million people out of that weigh 60, 70 million na youths, and then 98.5% Namumu. Now MB say leaving you with 1.5%. Yeah? Okay. 0.5%. Eh? Now the people we we know as cabals. Okay? We don't impoverish this 98.5% of human beings waiting for Nigeria. They don't systematically bring them down. Now, the remaining 1%, yeah, because 0.5% mm -hmm. now they cabal, because now they get police, now they get army, now they get everything. All the agencies, they have power. Power, yeah? Then it remain 1%. The sad thing about Nigeria, you see that one percent, they can change things. So, you understand that one percent because 
people where they change country, sometimes they know fit reach like 20 or 100. You don't, you don't hear me so. But the sad thing about this 1% will remain. From this 1%, 90% of the 1%, they work with 0.5%. They work with the cabals from that 1%. Then the remaining 0.002%, we, we are believe saying, are there, are there. We don't get money. We don't get media. We don't get nothing. We don't get many of us. Many of us, they hide under the thing they paper us. We won't come out, but nobody to come out to go for street. Now come, to come out in another way, to find other ways. But we don't have the money. And you know, they say truth. They crawl. They walk out softly, softly. But fake news, lies, Despite. deceit, mm. everything. Wow. Once you just blow them like this, as long as you get money, you go to pump up. Everybody go buy them because all of them are way they are now mumu. Now mumu. So anything, any small thing, you go grab them. I be who know, who no know say Instagram. Now where the fakes of the fake lives they they live social media. Who no know say ninety eight percent of what they do that social media on a babash. No correct. So except you get this, to read something, you can't say, what did it happen? You analyze and well. Then you say, ah, no, huh? These people, why then do they lie? Young people like, oh, no, no. And it won't, won't, won't see you, now go swallow around. And that is what is aiding the mumuness of the mind. Let's talk about um, some of the states of the nation. I'm going to talk about some of the things that we will see now, say they happen. We they see them. Let's talk about our educational sector. We talk about the young people, the youths making a large uh, um, portion of the population. And yet, access to quality education, that's still something where we they deliberate on day in, day out. Um, the National Youth Council, now they come outside, say, let's declare state of emergency in our educational sector. How our mumu will take do us reach? where we go demand for the right. Because now we are demanding. But the money that they even allocate to education is not even up to what UNESCO don't put on ground. If they ask me, <laughs> who are going to ask? Because this one is part of your movement, to educate people, to educate yes. the government. Now we get, now we be government. Yes. OK. That is, it has to start. Eh? Educate their mind first. Make them know saying that their responsibility to insist to ask questions. Why are we not you know, asking? You know, no, you know, not you know, loud enough. No, we we know they loud. Now him, I don't talk. Eh? That thing where you read, if you go to the to the lower part where I talk, say everybody, go back to your house. How you, can you leave your house that is a smelling rotten potter potter place? You go come for outside. You wear the best dress. You know the shame. So I don't say everybody make gonna go back to Una region. Go back to wherever you come from. But it's restructuring the way out because I know say you're not person with the clamor for restructuring. Now the way out is just. Hey now, hey it now. Is. How it can is. you okay? See, we they do business as we three day here, eh? Mm -hmm. We they do business. No only me one. No, they bring anything to the table. Una two, just they walk, they kill una sweat. Una, una sweat with una blood. Una they work, no, una they bring in the money. Me, I know they bring anything. Mm. And not only to the pools, to the say, eh, hey, na we, na we, we. Una go, it's good like that. That's me. You better talk something, um, Doris, talk concerning restructuring. Yes, restructuring, I, I believe, is the only way to fix this country. Just like he said, the analogy he just gave you now. There are a lot of, there are a lot of states in this country that do not bring nothing mm. to the center, where all the resources goes to the center. So if we decentralize things the way it was before even I was born, when we used to have eastern region, southern region, whatever, whatever. Mm. And then, you see, when we do that, the six regions we have, Everybody will bring something. There is something in every region. Might not be every state, 
But every region, God has blessed this country so much that in every region, there must be something, some resources that makes money for that region. So if the region is managing their resources, and then we pay taxes to the center to take care of the federal, you know, to, like the central things. But every other region will just take care of their problems. It will, everything will balance out, right? Because when we, this federal system is not favoring a, a lot of people. Take for instance, say the south-south where we have the oil and stuff like that. If you go to the south-south, a lot of the states there, there are places that you can't even go it's in. It's not developed, and then, now then they actually produce oil. They are well. producing. Then yeah. go to the north. Everywhere is developed. Not everywhere. Some well, places everywhere. Everywhere. a lot of places are. Yeah, there are a lot know. of places sent too. You, you know. So you wonder mm -hmm. they that have been in government for so long, why did they deprive their people like that? Why are their people the poorest? They that have been in government for so long. Did they imagine that one? Sorry. We could talk about insecurity. Between the pepper. I know, it, it, the pepper, because sometimes <laughs> we wait there for this area and not understand the level of insecurity where they actually breed off for other areas. Is it not only insecurity, intrigue, deception, deceit, mm. lies, propaganda. <laughs> she naked me. It's too much now. Now we see different um, pockets of insecurity coming up. We see kidnapping becoming the other. They not get any time we go pick paper. We we not go see say they don't kidnap this person, kidnap that one. We see cultism taking over streets, taking over community. Uh, for inside Niger, we see even now the police and the army even killing themselves. We see <laughs> even so when you see how insecurity don't increase for inside Obudu, Nigeria. Who we go ask the right question to? And in that way, how we go take demand for the right answer? Because still talking about this question, people are saying it, people are speaking. To Secure. Who? See SARS now, a lot of youths are coming out to talk about how SARS, they harass them. We are speaking, but still, they are still harassing them. Okay, the 2019 election, we're saying the youths are involved. How many youths vote? No, see, 2019 election, I think we talk about the level of involvement. Is it involving themselves in political positions? Because you get a lot of youths who actually come outside to vie for positions. But how many youths actually come outside to vote? Nine That's the what I'm question. asking. That's what I'm asking you. I say, how many youths voted? Mm -hmm. A lot of them were playing video games on Twitter, everything. You know, during the campaign, I was always posting stuff saying the polling, there's no polling unit on Twitter. There's no polling unit on Facebook. Exactly. You have to go get your PVC mm -hmm. and go really go out to vote. How many youths did that? If all the youths, 70 million youths that we have, if 50 million came out and voted and voted right, things will change in this country. See, the way elections are rigged, is when people don't vote. How many votes did whoever won? Let's do a quote. How many votes did they use? Uh, did they get? 60 million out of 200 million? That's why you can rig election. It's proven. It's proven in every, in every research. When you can rig election is when people don't come out to vote. Uh -huh. If 100 million out of the 200 million came out to vote, nobody can rig the election. And the youths, they don't care. Like, I know they, go, you know they got it bad. Things are bad for them. But you have to really go out there and grab the bull by the horns for things to change. Otherwise, we're going to keep going round and round and round. <clears throat> so the youths really need to take their own future in their hand. Because it doesn't look like anybody cares enough to do it for them. But well, we get this notion, say, our votes no go count. That's the thing. And that's, that's, where, that's why I said everything that's happening in this country is systematic. It's systematic because that is the mindset where they want you to be. Our votes 
don't count. What is the point of going out there to waste my time? You understand? But in, make I tell them in the language where she will. They say Peking. We know no waiting kill him, Papa. That same thing go kill him. In as much as I, I they feel for the youth, which is why at almost 70, I'm still talking on behalf of the youth. For 40, how many years? More than four decades. All the people where they shout now, maybe now them are my son, my Peking. My Peking, see not themselves. They never born them when we start this thing. Yes, I agree, say, like Doris say, say then give the youths of today a bad deal. And it's our fault. Those people who come from my own era, babies of the 50s and before us, now our fault. Because rather than confront our enemies, we'll be the military at the time. Most of us run come out. Some hide under. Some do like say, you know, concern them. Because dirty, we reach your neighbor's house. You don't reach your house. You know that one now. You understand? You know? But are they tell Nigerian youth, oh, yeah, now, then give you raw deal. Then give you nonsense. But it behoves you. What about those people where their papa get money? Their papa give them everything. We can't turn out useless speaking. Hmm. I really wish I could actually keep you for here. And uh, our time will be our friend. I will ask you whether revolution or what we need now. Um, yeah, just, mental, just, just mental, quick, mental, like... mental revolution are what we need. Because if our mumu no do, nothing fit happen. And they know they ring bell for revolution. When revolution happen, the one will be say, beggar don't come. I go come out for junction. I go see you. I go see and we go see ourselves for junction. Mm. Thank you very much. So you inside the house talk about the state of the nation and also this new movement called Now We Be Government, yes. where they come outside sensitize the people. Say you yourself, where they watch us now, you now government, not be those people waiting down for seat. And you need to take matters into your own hands. Thank make you very I, much. Make I just ask you one. You, uh, you know they provide your own light. Mm -hmm. You know, and they provide your own water. And even my Are you own not security. a government unto yourself? I'm telling you. Oh. Thanks, Avon. Say you're not inside the house. Thank <laughs> you so much, Dory. Say you enter. And thank you so much, Charles Opotak, for providing you known as Charlie Boy. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.